I'm doing well, Maria. Hello, welcome back. Hi, teacher. Are you a new student on, on Verbling or have you been here a long time? No, I, today is my first day. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I thought you were, you were an unfamiliar face to me, but I've only been here a couple of weeks, so I don't know all the students. And we definitely no, got a lot of new students, too. I, 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 today is my first day. Well, uh, I'm glad I, to I, have you. I, I really want, I, I re, how do I say that I have a lot of ex, expectation? Uh, I can say I really want to, uh, to go, go in this classroom. You can say, um, are you talking about expectations of verbling or expectations of yourself? No, of, the, no, of this class, to talk about culture. Uh, and you, everyone ah. will talk about the culture. How do I say that I, I really want to... Uh, how do I say that? You can say that you have been anticipating. You can say that you have been anticipating this class, which means that you're excited for it and you've been looking forward to it starting. Yes, is uh, that about what you want to say? Uh, it, 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 yes, but it, yes. it's usually say like that. You normally you use this word. I'm going to try and write it in the chat. Anticipating. Like this. Uh, yes. But I put it in the it, chat box uh, for you. It's a very used word, usual. Um, it's pretty common. Yeah, I think it's a, a pretty common word. You could also say something more simple like, I've been looking forward to this class. That's also, I would say maybe looking forward to is a more common way to say it. But anticipating, anticipating is also a pretty common word. It's just a little bit higher in uh, vocabulary like, um, it's not something, if you're uneducated, you might not use that word. But people who are uh, educated would probably use it very frequently. Okay, okay. Thanks. Okay. So, wow, class filled up quickly. I'll do a quick introduction, although I think most of you guys were, uh, have already seen me before. My name is Michaela. Uh, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. And I've been teaching English for a few years. I started with Verbling about two weeks ago. And I love cats. New fact about me. Okay, Alexis, will you um, tell us about yourself and tell us what you like to do on the weekends? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the first. Uh, yeah, um, I am from Venezuela. My name is Alexis. Um, in the weekend, I like to go to the mountain. Uh, my father have a my father have a farm. Sometimes in the weekend, I go for them. Awesome! That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's so great. Thank, thank you, Blanca. Your turn. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what you like to do on the weekends? Yes. Hi, I'm Blanca. I'm from Mexico. And I have been in Berlin two weeks as well. Um, I like to go outside on weekends and maybe going to the movies or do something interesting. Cool. And I like your picture. Where are you in that picture? Uh, the picture. Ah, the picture in Venice. Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't. It didn't look quite like Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a beautiful picture. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. All right, Idrinil, can you hear us yet? Or are you still loading? Well, we'll come back then. How about Jesus? Will, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh I'm Jesus, I'm Mexican, and on weekends I, I like to, to work out and 
sometimes go to go to play something called front tennis. It's kind what? of cool. What is it? Front tennis. Oh, it's tennis. Okay. Front, no, front tennis. I'm going to write the chat box. Is it a sport? Yeah. That sounds interesting. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Yeah, how do yeah. you play? Is it a ball game? Do you use a racket? Yeah, yeah, it's like like tennis, but uh, some different uh, because you instead of instead of have a a a red a red I don't know um, a web uh, between the two persons. Oh, a or net. Some, You're talking about the net that goes between the two people. Yeah, uh, instead of a net. Uh, the court is with uh, with walls, with large walls, in but uh, but you play with a racket in a ball. Oh, okay, cool. That sounds fun. No, it's, it's like squash. Yeah, it's oh. like squash. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank you, Adrian Neil. Do you want to do your introduction now? Uh, okay. Hi guys. I am Adrian Neil. I am from India. And I am happy to join classes again. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being here. And what do you like to do on the weekends? Uh, mostly, I will go to, I will hang out with my friends. I will watch movies if any good movies are out there. And I will go to malls sometimes. Cool. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Okay, welcome back, Kubra. Will you tell us about yourself and what you like to do on the weekends? Uh, weekends? Mm. Uh, sometimes I like spending time uh, with my family, uh, sometimes friends. And uh, um, I like uh, go, uh, going to the cinema and sometimes I go to the movies uh, for a watch and, uh, and uh, that's it. Sometimes I go to uh, for, for a dinner uh, with my friends in, uh, in a restaurant, cafe. <laughs> oh yeah, I love going out with friends too, especially to get coffee or to get food or something. That's yeah, very fun. Exactly. <laughs> All right, thank you. Here I come. Leandro, your turn. Hi. Uh, uh, my name is Leandro. I'm from Brazil. Uh, I have 25 years old. Um, I am. I am 25 years old. I am. I am 25 Sorry. years old. Oh, no problem. Uh, he, and uh, I'm right now. I'm studying to a uh, exam to be a public employee. And, ah, uh, cool! And that's a good deal, so, huh? Yeah, that's a very big, a very good deal. Uh, so I, I just study a lot every day, like uh, ten hours a, a day or eight, wow. hours, eight, eight hours a day, uh, on the library. Uh, but in the week, on the weekends, I like to see my girlfriend, and and <laughs> see some movie, go to the the, the cinema. And yeah, just, just or uh, I don't know, uh, and know as some new restaurants, just like, just something like that. Sounds great. A little break from studying. Yeah, it's a little break from to first studies. Okay, thank you, Maria Jose. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you like to do? Ooh, Maria, we can't hear you. You probably have um, some mic issues. It might be... Uh, is your mic plugged in properly? Uh, I've, been, I've been with her uh, on the last, uh, the last class and she was talking very well. Huh. Maybe... Okay. Maybe she's just having a, a difficulty. We'll come back to you, Maria. Hopefully you can resolve the issue and we'll get to back to you as soon as we're done with these people. Sandeep, your turn. Tell me about yourself and where you're from and what you like to do on the weekends. Hello friends. I'm Sandeep. I'm from India. 
uh, about my weekend I think today is my special weekend when compared with other days because uh, it's morning 11 almost 11 Sunday yesterday night I met my friend who is from Norway he came to India after three years uh, he brought his friend her she is a lady she is from Norway I met a lady for please abroad uh, who came from abroad country that was surprising he he, he didn't yeah, say cool. anything he haven't uh -huh. said anything that he's bringing her friend we met yesterday night and we are planning to go out today for lunch oh, that's awesome that's so fun yes do you guys speak I, English together yes all right so I don't That'll understand how she's adjusting here <laughs> because the temperature is very high. It is touching 40 degrees. Oh, that's hot. Is it? It's 30 or 40 degrees uh, 40 even today? Degrees. Wow. Uh, it's, I think it's 36 degrees right now. When it is wow. at mid, uh, 2 o'clock at a matinee time, like mid time, it will reach almost 40 degrees. Wow, that's really, really hot. Yeah, in Norway it's much colder, so yes. she might be. I don't know how she's adjust how she will adjust over here. All right. Well thank you for telling us. That sounds like a great weekend. I hope you have fun. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, Vikram, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Tell us about yourself and what you like to do on the weekends. Hi, myself Vikram. I am from India. Uh, today I am going with my friends to watch movies and eat outside. What movie are you seeing? Uh, Hindi movies. Indian movies. Awesome. That's really cool. Ooh, yeah. There's a bug in my room. Okay, yeah. and Ricardo, your turn. Uh, what is uh, what is the question, teacher, please? So tell us uh, about yourself and where you're from and tell us what you like to do on the weekends. Okay, I'm uh, Ricardo from Brazil. Uh, weekends, I like to play table tennis with my son and swimming. All right, swimming. That's great in Brazil. Do you go to a, a public pool or is there like a club you're in? Yes, yeah, a club, a club. And I have a table of table tennis in my house to play with my son. Awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. okay. So today we're talking about culture. And let's see, we have two people from Brazil, two people from Mexico. Um, where else? India? Two people from India. Okay, all right, cool. So what I planned to do this class is have each of you give like maybe a five-minute presentation, maybe shorter than that. So I, I came up with a bunch of questions, things that I hope that you can answer. And um, do you all see the, the questions, the guidelines that I, I put out? Do you want me to put it in the chat box? Yes. I'll put it in the chat box. Okay. So, oh, before I do that, Maria Jose has introduced herself. She says she's from Colombia and she likes going jogging. Oh, that's awesome. I like jogging, but not that much. I used to jog a lot, but it gets hard on your body, so. But it's really, really good for you. So congratulations, Maria, that's great. Um, okay, so I put the, the guidelines there. And um, it might be harder since we have, we have uh, some countries that have more than one person. Like, you know, if you're the second person who has to give a presentation on Mexico, it might be a little difficult. But um, I think it will be okay. If you want, you guys could maybe do the presentations together, but I think that might be difficult. It would be complicated anyways. Okay. So, um, and then afterwards, if we have time, maybe I'll give a presentation on the U.S. I'll tell you guys a little bit about where I live and that kind of thing. So, Alexis, as always, you are the first one 
So, Teacher, yes. Yeah. Can you put that link on Google Chat? Because oh I'm yeah, no. yes, no problem. My Wordling mm -hmm. Chat is not opening. Not working. Yeah, yeah, there's there's been some difficulty with the with the verbling chat. Some people have difficulty accessing it. I've heard that people from Brazil have a lot of trouble accessing it. I don't know why that would be, but hopefully uh, the other one works for you. Okay, so does everyone see the the questions now? Yeah. yeah. Are you comfortable going first, or are you nervous? Really? I'm going to do it. What? I'm going. OK. So just um, you can take a second to read through the questions I've asked. And um, I don't think any of it, all of it should be stuff you already know. It's not. I don't think you'll need to do any research about it in order to answer the questions. But just try and tell us a little bit about um, the where you live and some of the culture about it. I'm really interested in culture, so I thought it would be fun for you guys to kind of tell me about where you're from and things that I might not know about other parts of the world. So will you start for us? Yes. OK, go for it. Um, can I? Select the question. Can you what? Oh, um, select. Um, I don't know. <laughs> if it's easier for you, we can do this in like an interview type way. So I'll ask you a question, and then you just have to respond to one question at a time. Is that easier? Um. I don't got it right now. What? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going. Uh, okay. What? Uh, what more at the size of? Mm -hmm. uh, this is when rain. Oh, I don't know. What? What does mean size? Seasons are like Season. summer, summer, winter, spring, fall. Oh, right, right. We have two seasons. Um, um, uh, summer, um, I don't know, summer and um, in, in Lluvia, nosotros eh, we we call eh, invierno, but I don't know how to say that. Uh, winter, inverno is winter. Yeah, yeah but but here. <laughs> mm. You have a you have like a rainy season, right? So you've got the hot season and then the rainy season. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, the one is right. Okay, so you don't have traditional like four seasons. You've got just two. All right. Um, what is the most common religion in your region? Is Christian? Christian. All right. Are you Christian? Yes. Okay. What about some of the other climate questions? Like, how hot does it get during the hot season? Does it get very hot, like 40 or more? Or is it more like 35? Sorry, man. I don't got it. What temperature? What are the temperatures like for the seasons? Does it get very hot during the summer? Like 35 or 40 degrees? No, it is the temperature here is normal. Uh, um, really, really, uh, is um, barrier. 
uh, from Tempur. Okay, cool. What is the geography like? Do you have border you countries? Know? What is the geography like? Do you have countries that border? Um, it, is there many mountains, many lakes? Is there beach, ocean? What's the geography like? Mm, yeah, our, there are mountains, ocean. It is so various. Okay, so there's not. Uh, there are mountains and lakes. What about beach? Yeah, there... we have we have the sea. Um, I know uh, it's more varied. Very. Okay. All right. Um, how about habits? Is there anything special that people from Ecuador do for pastime, like play sports or games? Is there anything very popular? How? What about the pastime? Is there any special sports or games that people play? Yeah, um, the people play baseball, um, uh, soccer, um, football, play. Um, they are the most popular. Um, we have we have uh, about we culture uh, for example domino and they are from here from location uh, place place uh, all right cool is there anything that makes Ecuador unique or special? How? Is there anything that makes Ecuador unique or special? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? What's your favorite thing about Ecuador? Why do you like to live there? What is my favorite thing about place? Mm. I don't got it, sorry. Your favorite thing about your country? First thing. Yes. For, uh, about my country, uh, the oil black. The oil? <laughs> That's your favorite thing? That's good. <laughs> I like the oil. <laughs> Very much money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that's cool. Okay. I, I, I like the oil too. Very nice yeah. money. <laughs> yeah, in Brazil especially. Although I don't think Brasilia is going to see any of the money from the oil, or at least not much. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Vikram, you said that you wanted to go first, so would you like to go second for us? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Would you answer some of the questions then? Try to answer as many of them as possible. Can I start? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the Indian nations are four seasons there. Uh, they are divided by four. Uh, like uh, winter from Jan to February, summer, March to May, monsoon, uh, June to September and post monsoon period is October to December and uh, <coughs> the, <coughs> the climate is uh, influenced by Himalayas and Thar Desert uh, the weather is uh, extreme weather is at uh, summer season uh, it goes up to 45 degrees Celsius here wow oh my uh, gosh yeah and uh, I like the monsoon season, but uh, I dislike also because uh, that time the trains are running uh, running very late, and I reach office very late that day. Uh oh. And uh, and uh, there is uh, lots of water logging in here. Mm. Uh, 
the according to the religion uh, there are uh, four main religion in uh, like hinduism buddhism jainism and sikhism there is a lot uh, of religions huh yeah uh, the hinduism is uh, such as uh, yoga meditation ayurvedic medicine uh, karma so lots of uh, uh, related to uh, traditional thing uh, and is, is hinduism the most common religion or are yeah. they pretty even uh, it's a common religion here okay and uh, uh, special holidays uh, there are uh, three national holidays in india independence day republic day and gandhi jayanti and uh, um the common language is speaking here is hindi hindi is commonly speaking in uh, india mm -hmm. it's a capital language of india what about dietary restrictions are there any uh, dietary restrictions no uh, here we uh, eat uh, like uh, outside food most most of the times like fast foods what about chinese is it common to eat meat or is it more common to be a vegetarian <laughs> uh there are two uh, two uh, kinds of people like vegetarians mm -hmm. and non vegetarian people mm -hmm. which uh, is more vegetarian common? people are not uh, equally divided uh, non vegetarian people are more yeah, actually compared to vegetarian people all right interesting and uh, what and alphabet is, is used the, uh, for hindi Sorry. What alphabet is used for Hindi? I know that the the writing. Hindi is a. Uh, it's a uh, alphabet. Uh, I don't understand actually exactly. There are many uh, languages here uh, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, can I can I tell you? Yeah. Uh, like. Uh, uh, different states, uh, states having different languages here speaking uh, oh. like uh, where is stay in uh, like mumbai city uh, here uh, the main language is uh, marathi and uh, actually i'm uh, from south south indians mm -hmm. uh, there have we are speaking uh, like uh, mother tongue is uh, kannada tulu wow. and in uh, northern region that people are uh, mostly speaking uh, hindi like uh, gujarati language is there uh, punjabi nepali odia uh, assami language is there and do you uh, speak many languages more than one, do you speak uh, more than one language do you speak hindi in addition uh, I, to i am i'm speaking i uh, know i can write and uh, read uh, this uh, english hindi Marathi and my mother tongue Kannada and Tulu. Wow, so that's a lot. Yeah. That's pretty and, cool. And uh, the uh, favorite sports is here uh, most of the people are playing is cricket. They like more uh, every each and every people is li like like cricket playing every time <laughs> every day. Cool. What about the yeah. geography of India? Uh in the uh, northern part uh the himalayas is there uh, the mount everest that that there is very cold climate is there mm -hmm. uh, like kashmir and uh, in southern part uh, the temperature is very hot very so, different huh? yeah uh, uh, and the uh, we have border of uh, china and pakistan cool anything that makes india unique Uh, uh like uh, we here we where we have the different uh, uh, speaking languages uh, we have traditions different tradition in each states uh, there are uh, many festival we are celebrating here like uh, diwali holi uh, many 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 festival we are uh, celebrating here as compared to other country we are uh, celebrating many festivals and uh, we have different uh, Uh, language people staying here 
Interesting. So That's this cool. makes uh, India is uh, different from other, unique from others. All right. Thank you very much. That's awesome. I think I learned a lot about India. Does anyone <laughs> yeah. else want to volunteer to go next? May I? Yes, please. Yeah, can I start from first or anything you can, from the middle? You can start from wherever you like. Okay, I can cover everything. <laughs> I want to be fast. Okay, about the climates. There are four climates, four types of seasons. Oh, what is the sound? What? Dude, I could hear some music from... The sound is because uh, you oh. have the other page open and it, the video is uh, coming from the... Guys, can you hear some music? I'm hearing some music. Uh, I hear something, but it's not much. Try to ignore it. If it gets very loud, then I'll find a way to, to mute whoever is making oh, the noise. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hmm. About the climate, there are four seasons. The main and important is summer. Everyone is scared of summer in India. <laughs> Nowadays, it is getting hotter. Before a uh, few years, it was only 35, 40, uh, 38 is the last. But this is the first time we, cro we are touching 40 degrees. And we are expecting to be 45 degrees. Oh, uh, and the rainy season is very good. In some states, uh, like uh, the states which are near to the sea, there are like there is a city called Goa. In there, the rainy season is for six months, and summer is for six months. <laughs> it's completely amazing, and it's a very big tourist place. Very diverse uh, country. Yes, and uh, it is related. Uh, I am from southern part of hemisphere. What is the temperature like during? I covered it. Do you get any extreme weather? You're in the yeah. southern hemisphere. Yes. I don't believe you are. No. Maybe southern hemisphere, Hyderabad, where I so stay. So you're you're in the south of India, but you're yeah, not south in the southern of India. Hemisphere. The southern okay, hemisphere so is everything below the equator. Below the equator. Yeah. Oh. Okay, maybe I think I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm not an hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. Yes. Okay. Uh, I dislike the season, winter, and as well as summer nowadays. Because uh, when I a uh, few months before, I went to so many cities, so many states, but at the least temperature was I was survived for seven degrees without wearing a sweater. I survived there. It was. I can't say there are no words for me because my neck was blocked and can't even speak for so many days because I was not ready to for that environment and I was on shorts. I don't have pants on, <laughs> so that would be the reason I haven't survived. I can't. I'm unable to survive with that climate. Uh, about the religion, there are so many religions in India. Uh, there are more than uh, more than 18. 18 are commonly known to everyone. There are 24 different religions and different languages. Yeah, hmm. very diverse as well in language yeah. and religion. Uh, special holidays. There are many special holidays. Uh, the holidays are depend on the religion. Like Christians have like a uh, New Year. I, I'm not a Christian, but I'm weak in <laughs> saying about the Christian holidays, like Good Friday, and for Muslims, like uh, something. I'm a Hindu. For usually, Hindus have so many holidays compared to other religion. And festivals also, there are more festivals for, in Hindu religion. Cool, uh, more parties. Yeah, I'm not a party. <laughs> we need to spend the money a lot yeah. on the festivals. <laughs> If we have the one festival, like uh, two, three festivals, we can do grand. We can make it grand success. But we have more than eight, nine. For the festivals, we need to prepare some food and we should share with everyone, like neighbors, and we will give for neighbors and etc. Cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But then we need to spend a lot of money. Okay, give uh, us answer one more question and then we'll move on because otherwise we're going to run a little short on time. 
ஒன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் but with some sort of family problems they are not encouraged over here and people everyone are crazy about cricket hmm. don't know the waste time a lot of time because the one match will be going on for 7 to 8 hours more than 7 hours they will wow. sit in front of the tv and spend time like watching everything as <laughs> waste of time completely if you want to see just see the score and change the channel <laughs> Good policy, definitely. Yes. Okay, thank you for sharing with us. Welcome. All right. Uh who wants to go next? Try to keep it to like 3 or 4 minutes. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I said Blanca could go next. So Blanca, tell us about Mexico. Mexico. Okay. Um I try to follow the guy. Mm, okay. Uh Mexico is in North America. It's located between the United States and Guatemala. Um it's a country which has all the seasons. We can go since hot and dry weather in the northern part of the country. Mhm. Uh, to hot and wet but in the south part in the beaches and also to warm and rainy in the rest of the country. now we are in the spring but in spring and the summer we are like uh like today 30 degrees but on winter some few parts in the north part of the country are covered by snow wow oh. yes um i think we are in a how do you say this private pretty privileged situation because we can find rainforest deserts mountains lakes we are surrounded by atlantic and pacific ocean and we have also colonial and modern cities awesome mm-hmm. mm, what else what else talking about religion the most common religion in mexico is catholic there are also other religions like Uh, all their christian religions judaism and more but well, most common is catholic and the, fis- the official language is spanish <laughs> of course mm, what else what else mm, i'll talk okay i'll talk about uh, our culture we have uh, a lot of culture music mexican food is delicious we have <laughs> tacos enchiladas pozole uh, lots of delicious and the national drink is tequila. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the yeah. national drink is tequila that is very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have I think uh, Mexican people is very kind. We have uh, yes. I'm a big fan so, of tequila. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, we have so much to offer to the tourist uh, as far as I know Mexico is actually the 10th most visited country in the world. Wow. Yes. Um what else what else? And well, I don't know the sports. Have its sports the most popular sport here is soccer. We call it football. There are also other sports but the most popular is, is soccer. And I, I don't know. I don't know if you want to know something else. Um well what's your favorite thing about living in Mexico? the weather i think the weather we have all here we have as i said rainforest and mountains lakes beaches um we have everything here we are in a in a in a extraordinary position in the world mm-hmm. uh, very well located 
I'm very happy to be to live here. I'm very proud to be Mexican. All right. Thank you so much. That was great. Uh, okay. I have one doubt. What? Sorry? I have one doubt. Can I ask to Blanca? Yes, please do. Uh, Blanca, sorry for asking this. I heard that Mexican oh, girls are really hot. Is it real? Is this, sorry? <laughs> Mexican girls, girls are really very hot. Is it real? <laughs> I've heard they're beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, very beautiful. You, you, Especially you, Mexican and Brazilian. You, you have to come <laughs> here and check it out. Yeah. Oh, uh, if I, I need to come, I it's like a very that. big process. Uh, uh, <laughs> class trip to Blanca, Mexico. Blanca, you, 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 were, you were awesome. Awesome. You were awesome. Uh, uh, I someday I will go to the Mexico to check check it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're welcome. Who who's welcome gonna volunteer to, to go next? I I wanna volunteer. Okay. Please go. Uh, I, I prepared something here uh, to to show to show you. Oh, uh, this is my city. Uh, do you see? Yeah, I do. Wow, yeah. that's so this awesome. Is, uh, this is my city. Uh, I live on the capital of Brazil, Brasilia. Uh, we here uh, it's by uh, considered by UNESCO one of the uh, uh, humanity. Uh, I don't know things of hum. Uh, I don't know how how can I say that. But UNESCO uh, had. It's a World to, Heritage Site, maybe, right? Uh, it's a word. Uh, it's uh, I don't know a patrimony from the humanity. I don't know how to say that. Um, patrimony. It's, it's from. Uh, uh, it's uh, from. How can I say? Uh, it's from an architect called uh, called uh, uh, well. Uh, all those buildings were made by an architect very famous here. Yeah, I remember. I think uh, he built some. He built a couple things in Belo Horizonte also, didn't he? he yes, but in Brasilia, almost uh, every building were built by him. Were, uh, were, wow. uh, were built by him, so it's almost uh, like a museum in uh, the, all, all the series like a museum, very nice. World Heritage Site. Awesome. Uh, here uh, uh, we are some beach in, uh, in Brazil, this is one of them, uh, it's, it's called uh, Porto de Galinhas and it, it is on the north of Brazil, it's very beautiful. Uh, uh, northwest of Brazil, it's very beautiful, very hot. Uh, actually, in Brazil, uh, we have the seasons. Uh, it's it's a little mess up because uh, uh, it's a very big country. So in, uh, in other in some places are very hot, in some places are very cold. Mm -hmm. It's really messed up. <laughs> uh, uh, in north northwest, normally is just. Uh, Hot all, all 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 the year. The year is hot. Uh, there is no bad bad uh, bad. Uh, there is no uh, there is no wi winter there. Oh, uh, there is no winter there. Uh, and the the Rio de Janeiro is uh, it's almost like Brasilia. The 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 seasons. Uh, and it's hot, but not so hot, and have winter, and we have the uh, we have Gramado, we have here Gramado. Gramado is one of the in the south of Brazil. Gramado, uh, Gramado is like a, a a little city, and the south of Brazil was called called by the by the was a colony by uh, Italian people and German people. So they, they were here and they made, uh, 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 nowadays, uh, there are some things like uh, the uh, Europe, Europe uh, is like Europe there. Very beautiful. Cool. Okay, so tell us your favorite thing about Brazil and then we'll have someone else go. 
Ah, I, I really like Carna Carnaval. That's a ah. famous. Uh, that's a famous. Uh, uh, that's a famous party that hey. we have here. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, you can you can see the Carnaval here from Rio de Janeiro, mm -hmm. and you can see here from Salvador. Uh, I like more the Carnaval of Salvador because I like more the kind of music that plays there, and I really don't like to see every day, every year, this, uh, this, uh, the, the Rio de Janeiro Car Carnaval of Rio de Janeiro. It's, I, I, I I really don't like it, and uh, uh, and that's it. I wanna study to my exam to be a pilot of ships, like those. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be so yeah. cool. Uh, very difficult. So. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Okay, That's who good. would like to volunteer to go next? Can I? Yes, please. Go for it. Okay. I'm Maria Jose. I'm from Colombia. And my country is beautiful. We, have, we don't have seasons. We have like a rainy, a rainy period and a hot period, and my city is always hot. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> uh, here, uh, um, uh, how do you say? It? Here, uh, we don't have like a large period periods of rain. Mm -hmm. It's like more sporadic. Like one day rain and then like two months after will be rain again or something like that. <laughs> uh, uh, Colombian people is very happy. We love dancing. We love our typical food. We have a lot of typical dishes. Like what? Uh, like I uh, is one of them is the sancocho. It's like a soup. It's like a like a soup, and the soup uh, can be made uh, with chicken or with or with fish depends of the of the region the sector of the country mm -hmm. and they have pot potatoes and corn and some plantain too yeah um, I love plantains yeah and uh, we have like a like a, a lot of carnivals ha uh, each 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 department or each state have a different a different traditional parades or or how do you say or festivals. Mm -hmm. Here where I live, we have like the San Pedro. It's like a. Give me a second. I can show you. It's a Catholic holiday, right? No, no. It, yeah, it's a Catholic day, but here it's like a. It's it's some like a Rio de Janeiro parade, but it's smaller is quite smaller it's like a uh, uh, and we have an with okay I can show you give me a second and we have like a lot of parades and how do you say that when people ride horses in a parade I don't know the name um I don't know horses per a parade of horses. I don't know. Yeah, something. Yeah, we, you can you can see the images. Um, of I just the, see. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we have a lot of different type of of parades. Like, uh, and we have like a uh, you have to pick a a woman that won the all the carnival, like the queen of the carnival. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yes, it's very cool, and each each state has. I think that we have like uh, we are like the most uh, festival country in the Latin America because we have a lot of of different carnivals all, all across the year. Cool, that's really cool. So tell me your your favorite thing, and then we'll move on to the next person. Okay, I think that people and the and the music. Uh, uh, yeah, Colombia, what kind of music? Oh, I show you. Uh, the, we have the, what's the, name? Uh, uh, the typical, like the original uh, music, is called vallenato, and we oh, have uh, we have always uh, we have also 
another 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 kind of music called cumbia, but it's a more more uh, it's a mix of African African styles, African rhythms, mm -hmm. and Colombia rhythms. Yeah, it's awesome. like a, so cool. yeah African music or something like that. With, All right, with thank influence. you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. All right, so we're running a little bit out of time, but who wants to go next? I think we have three people still to give presentations. Okay, I will go. Okay, go for it. Okay, since I'm from India, uh, Sandeep and Vikram has already told many things. Uh, yeah, tell us something they haven't mentioned yet. Maybe I will tell more about my reason from where I belong. Okay. Not more about India. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, I am from Assam. Uh, it's a state of India. Mm -hmm. It's in northeastern part of India. Uh, so the climate is like uh, uh, it will be very hot in summer and very cool in winter. I mean, it's very very cold in winter and very very hot in summer. <laughs> like the temperature will be rising 40, 35 above in summers and in winters it will be touching 11 degrees centigrade or 9 degrees centigrade like that. Oh nice, so that's not so cold. I like mostly the cold weather. <laughs> uh, religion, uh, there are many religions uh, in my region and mostly Hinduism, Christians and Muslims. Uh, Hinduism is more prevalent in my region and any special holidays, there are so many holidays <laughs> and there is one festival we celebrate, uh, it's called Bihu, uh, it's coming in near this April, so it's like a kind of a new year. How do you, it's a new year celebration? Yeah, it's kind of a New Year's celebration for us. And what do you do? Is there food or a party yeah. involved or something? Yeah, there are a lot of things we do, such as um, we will actually, it says, uh, uh, what we'll say? <laughs> actually, we uh, will make so many foods, uh, sweets. Uh, I don't know the English names. Uh, <laughs> sorry for that. That's okay. <laughs> and we'll be singing songs. We'll be dancing, the, which is called as Bihu dance. It's very much popular. I, I love think. the the um, dancing in India, and the music videos are so funny. I think it's great. It's it's a regional dance, so it is something different also. Uh, cool. So, in this festival, we mainly, uh, since cow is the main, uh, we, we will worship cows. So, mm -hmm. so we'll take them to bat uh, on the first day. We'll, we'll, do our, we'll do some puja kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so there will be many games also on that day. Actually, it's a seven day uh, celebration. Wow. Uh, so there will be buffalo fight and egg fight, cock fight. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. It's, I think the egg fight you might not have <laughs> known, I think. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> Actually, one egg will be, there's suppose two persons will be playing, then one egg will be on his hand, and the other egg will be in other person's hand. Oh my hand. god. So, <laughs> so he will on on top of that egg with that egg he will try to hit that other egg. So whichever egg breaks, uh, he will get that egg, and he awesome. will. Awesome. Well, thank you for telling us about uh, your region of India, and I'm gonna have to cut you off because we still have two more people to go. But your presentation was awesome. Thank you. Okay, okay guys, you each have two minutes to tell me about your country. Who wants to go first? Uh, I. Okay. How about Kubra? Give us a, a quick two-minute presentation, and then we'll have Jesus go. And uh, teacher, I just uh, t uh, say about uh, sim uh, simple. <laughs> okay. Simple and my uh, 
my uh, country uh, culture. Um, uh, the world is rich um, in habits and um, uh, culture. Culture. Um, uh, you can tell it when uh, when you uh, yeah, when you visit another uh, country, and uh, you get shocked, uh, shock uh, uh, with uh, something uh, that is not normal uh, f for uh, us, uh, you. Mm, uh, um, Turkish have the habit. Uh, of uh, removing uh, Turkish people, uh, 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 their shoes before entering home. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, don't be impressed if you visit a Turkish family and uh, see <laughs> seeing the entra uh, entrance of the house or even outside the main door a lot of shoes. Uh, uh, the reason is, uh, is uh, good and simple uh, because clean lines. Uh, when you walk in the streets, uh, shoes uh, um, will be in contact with a lot of dirt, uh, <laughs> and the Turks uh, don't want to bring it home. Uh, um, that's all I'm worth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. No, that's great. Thank you so much for for sharing with us. What's your favorite thing about Turkey? Uh, favorite uh, food. Food. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love the spices and stuff from Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Jesus, tell us Hello. a little bit more about Mexico. Okay. I'm, I'm going to tell, to tell you about something about Mexico mm -hmm. and the place where, where I live. I live in the central part of Mexico and in the uh, Mexico City, mm -hmm. and um, I enjoy uh, I enjoy the the weather, uh, but I have, but I am afraid of uh, earthquakes and volcanoes. Oh, uh, cool. yeah, because uh, you know that in Mexico uh, there is a a lot of earthquakes and I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. And the natural this, but all, um, but also occurs uh, some natural disasters. And Mexico City is rounded. Uh, it's near to a volcano called uh, Popocatépetl, and it's an active volcano. So uh, it's interesting, and, and I like to I like the landscapes and the nature, and, and but but uh, I'm a little bit afraid of, of it, and uh, the sorry about it about it and um, yeah, but and um, that I like um, is the weather and the climate, the temperature. I I never have seen snow snow snow. Mhm. Mm snow. Snow, and uh, because here, uh, always is 20, 22, 23, 24. Perfect um, beach weather. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, weather and the second the second the second about language the Spanish of course is. Is the main language, but because of Asian cultures in Mexico, and there exists, uh, I don't, I don't know how to say, it, but dialect exists the word dialect. Dialect. Mm -hmm. dialect, yeah. So because of uh, Asian cultures in Mexico, like uh, Mayas, Aztecas, and in other ones, and uh, there, there exists dia dialect. Mm. And, okay, well, give us one more fact, and then we're gonna have to end class. Uh, 
Okay, and about uh, I like I like uh, the food. I really enjoy the food. Uh, almost all uh, with chili, but but yeah. I really <laughs> but I really like chili. Uh, I don't know you. I, yeah, me too. Spicy food is delicious. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Sorry, but I've got another okay. class to start right now. Thank you, and maybe I'll see you in the next class. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there. Okay, thanks. See you guys in a second. All right. Bye. Bye.